Okay, all right, you guys, we're going to move on to some document-based questions regarding conflict in the church. Okay, I want for you to um, be looking at the image, looking at the picture here as you're listening to this. Okay, Martin Luther didn't set out to create chaos within the Catholic Church. He nailed his 95 theses onto the church door to engage scholars at the University of Wittenberg in debate. But Luther hadn't counted on the reaction his ideas would inspire. Within two months, copies of the theses had spread throughout Europe. Within three years, the Pope had written a letter condemning the theses. Meanwhile, Luther's followers supported the theses by protesting certain church practices. Now, when you're looking at this image, you guys, in this painting, you can see that Martin Luther is shown, he's translating the Bible from Latin into German, which was the vernacular where he lived in Germany. Luther used a clear, accessible style that made the book more readable for ordinary people. All right. The first document, document one, it's a primary source, a pamphlet. It's from the 95 Theses. In his 95 Theses, Luther expressed his criticism of the church in statements that sum up his interpretation of teachings found in the Bible. In the following two theses, Luther presents his idea that letters of pardon or indulgences do not make people better and cannot ensure salvation. Right. This is from uh, his the 44th Theses. Love grows by works of love and man becomes better. But by pardons, man does not grow better, only more free from penalty. And this is number 52. The assurance of salvation by letters of pardon is vain or useless, even though the Pope himself were to stake his soul upon it. Okay, be thinking of this question, you guys. Why might the church have taken offense at these statements that were a part of Martin Luther's um, uh, pamphlet of his 95 theses? Okay, the second document is from the papal bull of Pope Leo X, and it is a primary source letter. Okay, in 1520, Pope Leo X issued a papal bull or an official letter giving Luther 60 days to take back his theses. In the following excerpt from the bull, Leo condemns Luther's ideas and tells followers of Catholicism or the faithful how to handle them. With the advice and consent of these our venerable, respected brothers, we condemn, reprobate, which means disapprove, and reject completely each of these theses. We forbid each and every one of the faithful to read, assert, preach, praise, print, publish, or defend them question we want you guys to be thinking about that you'll be addressing tomorrow as well. According to the Pope, how should Catholics deal with Luther's ideas? Okay, the third and final document we're going to be looking at is a leaflet against somebody that's by the name of um, Johann Tetzel. Um, it's a primary source document that's a leaflet, and we really need for you to be looking at this image as as we are um, as we're reading, because the the response is going to revolve around you being able to analyze what you're seeing. Okay, Luther's followers distributed this leaflet to protest against the practices of Johann Tetzel, who was a monk who sold indulgences. Tetzel is said to have written the last two lines in the leaflet. As soon as gold in the cash box rings, the rescued soul to heaven springs. Okay, all right. Can you... The question you guys should be thinking about, be able to answer, and again... We'll be doing this tomorrow in class. Why do you think the people shown in the leaflet are happy to see Tetzel? Again, the question is asking for you guys to look at the leaflet and try and figure out why they look like they're happy to see Tetzel.